The Light of the World 1851 is an allegorical painting by the English pre-Raphaelite artist William Holman Hunt representing the figure of Jesus preparing to knock on an overgrown and long unopened door, illustrating Revelation 3 verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if any man hear my voice, and open the door, I will come into him, and will sup with him, and he with me. According to Hunt, I painted the picture with what I thought, unworthy though I was, to be by divine command, and not simply as a good subject. The door in the painting has no handle, and can therefore be opened only from the inside, representing the obstinately shut mind. Hunt, 50 years after painting it, felt he had to explain the symbolism. Versions The original is variously said to have been painted at night in a makeshift hut at Worcester Park Farm in Surrey and in the garden of the Oxford University Press while it is suggested that Hunt found the dawn light he needed outside Bethlehem on one of his visits to the Holy Land. In oil on canvas, it was begun around 1849 50ths, completed in 1853, exhibited at the Royal Academy in 1854 and is now in a side room off the large chapel at Keble College, Oxford. The painting was donated to the college by the widow of Thomas Coombe, printer to the University of Oxford, Tractarian and a patron of the Pre-Raphaelites, in the year following his death in 1872 on the understanding that it would hang in the chapel, constructed 1873-76, but the building's architect William Butterfield was opposed to this and made no provision in his design. When the college's library opened in 1878 it was placed there, and was moved to its present position only after the construction in 1892-5 by another architect, J. T. Micklethwaite, of the side chapel to accommodate it. A second, smaller version of the painting, painted by Hunt between 1851 and 1856, is on display at Manchester City Art Gallery, England, which purchased it in 1912. There are small differences between this and the first version, such as the angle of the gaze and the drap of the corner of the red cloak. The fact that Keeble College at that time charged a fee to view it persuaded Hunt toward the end of his life to paint a larger, life-size, version, begun about 1900 and completed in 1904, which was purchased by shipowner and social reformer Charles Booth and hung in St. Paul's Cathedral, London, where it was dedicated in 1908 after a 1905-07 world tour where the picture drew large crowds. It was claimed that four-fifths of Australia's population viewed it. Due to Hunt's increasing infirmity and glaucoma, he was assisted in the completion of this version by English painter Edward Robert Hughes, who also assisted with Hunt's version of The Lady of Shalott. Hunt was buried in St. Paul's. This version diverges more from the original than the second one. Reception The painting gave rise to much popular devotion in the late Victorian period and inspired several musical works, including Arthur Sullivan's 1873 oratorio The Light of the World. Engraved reproductions were widely hung in nurseries, schools and church buildings. <laughs> 